Nenig, Germany, the early morning of October 6, 2017. Author and historian Wim Schelberg will meet up with the 94th Infantry Division Historical Society tour group. The group spends the night of October 4th in a hotel near Amsterdam. From there, they depart to the Margraten American Cemetery and after a visit continue their journey further south to Bastogne. There, they visit the famous Mardassen Hill Memorial, reaching their final destination later that day. The following day, the group visits the Luxembourg American Cemetery and the National Museum of Military History in Diekirch. About nine o'clock, the bus arrives. Bart Moonen, who accompanies the group, has prepared the tour narrative and itinerary. Wim Shelberg, with the 94th Infantry Division Historical Research Center, supports the tour by publishing the tour booklet. From mid-January 1945 until the end of that month, Nenig was the scene of brutal house-to-house -house fighting. After taking the town, the 94th Infantry Division had to stand its ground against the German elite 11th Panzer Division, relentlessly attacking with tanks and infantry. Both sides suffered heavily, as did the town itself. Eventually, the German troops were worn out, while U.S. troops strengthened their grasp of the hamlets of Nenig, Berg, and Wies, and the forests to the northeast. Mark, do you know right off hand what were the roads like back then? Were they, were they just dirt roads? Or? Yes, like you see in the, in the pictures. Okay, but they're from the, In the pictures that you get a good idea that it's just, you know, yep. dirt, maybe. No, no, no cobblestones. Are we still in Denny? It's a concept that you don't have to worry about. It. Yes. But, uh, so yeah, I read it for months. I derived every equation in it. I'm getting tired of that, thinking I'm moving on the job. Cause I, then they called me into the office and said, I can tell you all about flow, but I can't tell you how to develop film. Yeah, right, so now they had me develop film. However, all the instruments on the wind tunnel were, were pressure instruments with film in them. And I was to change them, so I learned all about this wind tunnel. Just uh, in which they changing film in the in the wind tunnel. Also, as someone pointed out to me, there's a picture. Back in the tour bus, Herbert W. Ridyard, a World War II veteran of the 94th Infantry Division, reads one of his letters home to the group. Go back to a warm house. First gunner uh, Ryan went the first day. Uh, then the uh, second gunner, McLean, went the next day, and I was next in line. Uh, I had to walk from Sins all the way back to Walkern. I met the first sergeant there, and he uh, said, you're going to get a break. Instead of one night, you're going on a tw two, uh, yeah, 48-hour rest. So that's, I think I'm in the rest area when I wrote this. Dear Mom and Dad, oh, by the way, I'm allowed to say Germany at the top of this letter. I'm sorry I haven't had much time to write. I guess you might say I've been in the thick of things. The Lord has been with me. I'm, o I'm okay, however, and feeling rugged. The snow disappeared suddenly, so now everything is muddy again. It's like glue. Oh well, such is life in the Siegfried line. That diehard Hitler must have built this job a long time. The politicians who let him do it should have been shot. Had 10 letters from you in the past few days. Also two boxes with soup. They came in handy. Latest letter was dated January 11th. Had a letter from Weston, he's been to London. Let Weston was a 95th Infantry Division and he was my high school buddy and he was wounded uh, at Metz. I've had a shower, haircut, and ate chow while the orchestra played jive. Winter clothes have been pouring in. They are doing their best to keep us warm. Our theme song is Come On Russia. Didn't worry, don't worry mom and dad. Trust the Lord, I'm doing my best. Bye now, love, Herbert. That's the first letter. I have another one then from my father. These are not... Not 
second. Father never got to high school. He was an immigrant from England, but he writes a nice letter. This is uh, written on February 9th, 1945. Dear Herbert, we received your V-mail letter today. We sure enjoyed having a letter from you, for it seems a long weekend waiting for the mail mailman to come on a Monday. So you are in Germany. You took our breath away when we saw your new title. We understand you were. We understood you were with the Ninth. Having long, uh, how long have you been in Patton's outfit? It is something anyway that you can tell us what country you are in. That was the first time we were allowed to say the word Germany. I agree with you, Herbert, when you say it is not like the papers read. You just, you put it very well. I have said all along the boys would like to see the Russians finishing it off. See that, see that you dig deep enough, Herbert. Now when my father calls me Herbert, he's not fooling around. <laughs> see, see that you dig deep enough, Herbert. I was reading a story in a Saturday evening post and this boy said, Keep digging, boy. It is nice to know you are well. We understand when you say a prayer every day. Herbert, believe me, Mom and I are doing plenty for you. As I said in last night's letter, if you only get our letters, you should have plenty from your Mom and I. Today was quite a change from the cold. We've been having the snow sh uh, sure did melt. Everyone hope the snow will go away easy or if we get rain, we're going to have one of the worst floods around here. They're getting all ready all over the states in case a heavy thaw sets in. It's uh, more snow around the country than they have seen for many a long time. New England state has, has just as had another heavy fall, somewhere around 20 inches. They're in a bad state of the present time from what came over the radio tonight. I guess you saw plenty yourself. If I read the papers right, we heard over the radio tonight that we are still going ahead. We have no mail from Tom yet, that's my brother in Italy, a box. Uh, if you need anything, say so. When did you get a box last? How many pairs of socks did you get? I had to write these few lines tonight. I believe I will sleep better for it. Oh boy, if this mess was only over. I am going to close now for it is after 10 p.m. Mom is in bed already. She said, she said I should tell you Mom will write in the morning. So long for now, Herbert. Take care of yourself right when you get a chance. You're loving, from your loving Mom and Dad. That's it. Thank you, Herbert, for sharing this with us. Yes. So, uh, please remain seated. I have to check. Um, I see that the uh, people from the restaurant would like us to press the button.